Hey everybody, Steve here. So the Ravishing Mrs. Ritter, my producer, the Ravishing Mrs. Ritter has been, uh, I, I have to choose my words carefully here, not bugging me, certainly not nagging me. She never does that, ever. Um, has been gently uh, coerced, well not coercing, that's bad too, has been gently prodding me, leading me, that's it towards making this next dish. I just got through doing a workout. I'm looking for something a little healthy and simple and Steve proof. And this is it. It's baked cherry tomatoes with feta. And I, I found this recipe. I had to modify it a little bit. I couldn't find fresh basil. That's okay. But I found everything else. So it's super simple. I'm going to throw it together, put it in the oven, and, and I'm going to toss it with some pasta. So that's gonna be my supper for tonight. So the ravishing Mrs. Ritter swears by, she says it's delicious and uh, super easy. So flip the camera around, let's get cracking. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a mixing bowl here, and to it I'm gonna add a pound of cherry tomatoes. I got these down in a little, I have a little grocery store down right down below uh, my apartment. They're pretty tasty, and they, the, they were on the little vines here, so. I don't know if they cut them when they're green or what. So uh, to that, I'm gonna add, um, I've got half of a white onion, a uh, onion, Bella. I'm gonna add that, I've got that just diced up. Now the, the original recipe called for shallots, which are like really, really mild onions. I think this is gonna have a little stronger onion taste, which is fine with me. If you're not a big fan of onions, go with the shallots or maybe uh, green onions or something like that. That'd be fine too. Uh, I've got four cloves of garlic that I just minced up and put in there. And then I wanna go with, um, I've got some hot pepper. <clears throat> I've got some uh, chili flakes. I'm gonna put in about just a, just a pinch, pinch of these. About a pinch, not too much. If you'd like it a little spicier, you go with a little bit more. Put that in there. And then I wanna go, now, here's the question. So I'm, I didn't, couldn't find basil, fresh basil. So I'm gonna go with uh, two tablespoons of dried basil. And I'm thinking that's gonna be pretty good, so. <clears throat> That's a lot of basil, but the fresh basil really has a big kick to it. Um, all right, so I've got the garlic, onions, chilies. Um, I'm going to go with some salt and pepper to taste. So if you don't like pepper, obviously, you can forego this particular step. Now, I don't know what it is about tomatoes. When you bake tomatoes, oh, it's good. It really sweetens them up. And these, these I, I tried one of these, by the way. They're, uh, they're pretty sweet, so these cherry tomatoes. Now, I used to, when I first started having a garden, I made a point to plant. I'm just going with a pinch of salt here. I made a point to plant cherry tomatoes, and I was eating on them. as I'd eat them and pick them and eat them as fast as I could, fast as I could grow them. <laughs> They, they rarely made it into the house. Okay, uh, basil, salt, pepper, good. And then I'm gonna go with eight tablespoons of olive oil. Uno, two, uh-oh, it's two and a half. Gotta go with my backup bottle of olive oil. Good. Two and a half. Oh, another half makes three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. 
eat. Now, if you're not going to eat this with pasta, if you're just going to eat it with bread, you could cut that olive oil in, uh, amount in half. But I'm going to have, I'm going to toss this with some cooked pasta when I'm all done here. Uh, trying to put the top back on this thing. Now I'm going to just toss this. My wooden spoon here. I'm just kind of toss this over to coat. Get all this, everything mixed together, spices and all that. Everything's on there good. Okay, then I'm going to take a bacon dish. Get this little tiny small casserole dish. Put it in here. I wish I had some fresh basil, but I don't. So I'll spread this around. Now, here comes the, the magical part. <clears throat> to the top of this, I'm going to add feta cheese. I've got, whoa, hang on now. I've got seven ounces of feta cheese which is about 200 grams. I'm getting all metric-y and everything. I figure out how to open this thing up here. I'm used to a little container feta. There we go. And uh, this is where the old kitchen shears come in handy. top off open it up and there there she blows Let's kind of cut this open now what I want to do I've got my oven now it's been preheated to 400 degrees it's all ready to go I'm ready to put this in take this feta out I'm going to cut it in half and layer it on the top So I'm going to put this right on the top here and right on the top there. And this has got to go in the oven. Mm, I love feta cheese. That's going to go in the oven. Let's open this up. 400 degrees. Here we go for 20 minutes. Okay, setting the alarm and we'll be right back. Okay, so there it is. 20 minutes at 400 degrees and then and then change it over to the broiler for like five minutes and I did that and it is done off it goes I'm gonna take this out oh man that smells amazing now this thing is pretty hot and I've got my my pasta all done and I'm gonna mix this in the pasta so I'm gonna just, I've got to take a meeting for work here on a Zoom call. So, let's try to get this without burning myself or spilling it. I'm going to pour that into the pasta and mix it together. So, let's try that real quick here. If I can get this done. Got my bowl here. Now, the, the tomatoes should be kind of cooked and a little bit softer. I'm going to back this out some here. <clears throat> and the feta cheese should be all melty and should break down pretty good. I hope. Should. Ooh, that's hot. Get this without burning my fingers. All the onions and tomatoes and everything going there. Man, that smells amazing. hot and then just mix this together see the feta just kind of comes apart and the tomatoes break down mix this in got the olive oil in it's nice and liquidy so it gets in the pasta now if it's too dry save yourself a little cup of the pasta water and you can use that to kind of thicken it back up but uh, that smells amazing I'm gonna Mix this up, and I get these tomatoes all kind of broken down a little bit. 
mix together. I'm going to make myself a plate and I'll be right back. So that's what it looks like hot and right off the oven. So I'll stand by one. Okay, here we go. Here it is. My baked cherry tomato feta cheese with pasta. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh, the feta gives it a nice, you know, feta has that kind of twangy taste to it with the baked tomatoes and the basil. Now, if you got fresh basil, it'd be even better, I think. But this is pretty dang good. Now, you can jazz it up a little bit more with uh, maybe some more tomato or more onions. I think black olives would be good with this, too. So now this is, see the steam coming off of that, but it's not hot, so. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That's delicious. Thanks to the ravishing Mrs. Ritter for leading me this way to finally make this. This is tasty, and this is gonna be great for many days here. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. It's Cooking with the Colonel. It's Colonel signing off. Over and out.